um, probably different our styles are. How does that differentiate us? And so a D can go into a listening presentation without really a lot of the, the, uh, the facts, the information, the data, and all that. And what he, his whole theory, Ricky, was, I'm no different than you. Ed realizes his superpower, and so do you. So do I. Right? And I feel like it's not a good ROI on my time versus you think it's, in your world, it's the best ROI on your time. And um, in your program, do you have them do the disc test? Hey, you have to understand who you are. Right, sir, got to fix you through all the questions to figure out how you're wired. On a scale of one to five, how, do you, how comfortable are you with this? It's a little different for me because I have a totally different perspective on it where it's not hot or cold. It's people are on market I need to get to. I'm like, what I can do to help them by itself. All right, what's up, man? We are here at the EXP Sharing Order Summit. I got my guy, Nolly Williams, man. So I have a, the legend right here, Ricky Carew. Well, I hope they're like, yeah, I'll good to see you here. So is it, is it the cowboy real estate agent? Is, I forgot your tagline at this point. Well, well my tagline's business healer. I don't know if you've seen that. That's my tagline. I've seen that one, yeah. but, but what about the hat bars? Well, the hat bars are a little story. I don't know if we were gonna bore them with it, but, but the hat, I've, been work, I've been rocking this hat stuff. I know you've been rocking the hat. Since I was 26. I thought there was some tagline with the hat. You didn't even want help Consider this song. Oh, Luke, I saw something sub somewhere. I probably did something with it at some time, and I don't, yeah. Not anyway, so so you are a real estate coach in the industry, um, big name. Um, I saw you for the first time. I saw you online, of course, a long time before I saw you in person, but you came to my market. Where'd you be? Where'd you be? Yeah, and I was like, oh, I'm going to that. So yeah, there, it was really cool. I picked up a joke from you. You know, you're like, how many people are new agents in the, in the room? And then everybody's, and you're like, don't tell nobody you're a new agent. <laughs> Why would you have to say that? <laughs> but you hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no, man, uh, before we started this, we're talking about personalities. Yeah. And how um, probably different our styles are. I want to dig into that for just sure. a second. You're able to you know, maybe get into some other stuff, but I'm more than likely a high D. Yeah. And you are, and that's, that's, that's what I was saying. I'm an ISC, right? And a different robot. Okay. okay. I, and then, and then how? And then you, you know, you, you, you know more about the disc and sure. stuff. How does that differentiate us? Yeah. Right. And then, what questions do you have for me concerning that to try to help the viewers kind of understand? Because we've got people with all kinds of different personality. Absolutely. Absolutely. And everybody can live. Yeah. He can kind of understand the backdrop of. Um, how you can let I and talk, I have to supervise around people. So yeah. what do you think the differences are? Cause you mentioned this before we started. What do you think the differences are between you and I in terms of our style? So a high D, when a high D goes at it, a D is a Dwight. Okay, so Ds are like the president of the United States. They're, they're CDOs, they run companies. And so a D can go into a listed presentation without really a lot of the, the, uh, the facts, the information, the data, and all that. Yeah. And they can absolutely get the seller. They can gain their confidence very quickly. Yeah. And they can get them a summit. Right. So if the seller says, well, hey, how about this? You know, well, we'll figure that out. It's, it's no problem. Right, right, but we right, need right, to do right, right now. And they, they're good at driving the conversation. Uh, and SC has to understand everything, all the analytics, the, the data, information. Yeah. They have to know all that going in so that they don't get anything wrong. Mm. Right. So it actually takes an SC a lot longer you get to encourage one of them. But yeah, the truth of the matter is, oh, well, you should always know who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is what I teach. Now, you don't have to take this, this the profiles to know Like, you automatically know what you feel comfortable doing, right? You, you're like, hey, I'm going to do, like, you do a lot of cold thoughts, okay? I, I, I've never done cold thoughts, okay? It's just outside of my... Yeah. And, and it's not that you don't love me. I don't know. Do you love Copone? Yeah, you do. Okay, so is it, you see what I'm saying? Like, for, me, for me, it's a perspective thing, right? right. When it comes to pull call. Okay. For me, okay, if I buy Zilla Lee, yeah. or if I do a video, open I get a lead, right. or wherever I get my leads from, it's the same people that I pull call. Yeah. And I call them saying the same thing as I would. So it's almost like if you trip your mind and that feel like this outbound lead is an inbound lead yeah. you need to to give yourself confidence to have the say yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's the same people it is having the same conversation so for me yeah it's like what's the difference there's no such thing as cold top war or yeah. one down out down yeah. it's all people in the market i'm just trying to have as many conversations as i can have so yeah. it's a little different for me because i have a totally different perspective on it where it's not hot or fold it's people on market i need to get to i'll like, see what i can do to help them by itself absolutely absolutely However, being a D, you're going to be able to do some things that I'm not, you know, 
that are, that are outside my comfort zone. Right. And there's some things that I'm going to do. Yeah. And you'd be like, man, I'm not in that. Right. Analytics data. Right. 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 Um, and depending, I don't know what your disc is, but if I knew, if I knew exactly what it was, I could read you exactly like, Hey, here's what you'd be more. Now we have to, as entrepreneurs and business leaders, we have to step outside our comfort zone and do whatever take. Yeah. And so, so, so that's, that's the little, you know, my left, you, you saw him yesterday. Yeah. 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 So a lot of people, myself included, I was, you know, a lot of us could relate to what he's saying. Right? Yeah. You could really relate. Yeah. Here's a guy, what he, his whole clearing, Ricky was, I'm no different than you. Yeah. I was a dude. Yeah. I didn't know. I'm, I was, I was raised in a, you know, family like this. And he's, it was bad growing up. I mean, you went through the whole thing to where you really could relate. The, the difference is he has a million and what they've been to me. Yeah. And I'm not. Friday, that's the that's the big difference. Uh-huh. And at the end of that, he said, you know, there's only two things that I could that I do well. Did you catch that? I don't know if he, he said there's yeah. only two things, key things that I do well. And what that what that got me to understand is that Ed realizes his superpower. And so do you. So do I. See, when you understand your superpower, you show up on game day, like you did the other day, and you did cold calls and you crushed it on stage. Whoa. And, uh, and you, and you make it look so easy because yeah. that is your super car, right, right, right. But for some people that might be Christian. And so, um, what Ed does brilliantly, he said his one superpower is he loves screamper. Okay. And he knows I'm going to him. And that's basically what he used those skills and, you know, you listening, whatever skills you have, you want to basically know what they are and use them to their greatest advantage. So, so that's the only thing around personality thinning. Yeah. There's some things that Ed can do in his personality that I may not be a people reader or have his skill set. So yeah. I might do it a different way. Yeah, I can still get the set though. Yeah, it's like if you if you spend a lot of time doing analytics before you got to listen one man, I'm thinking I'm not gonna waste my time doing that. Absolutely. It's gonna take me absolutely thirty minutes that right. I could spend calling more clients absolutely. or doing this or that. Right. And I feel like it's not a good ROI of my time versus you think it's in your world, it's the best ROI on your time because you're fully prepared for the listing appointment where I'm going to go in and lean it and look at it right away. Anyway, right. Exactly. 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 It's interesting because it's, it's, it's you know? interesting to think about it. Um, all the different coaches have the different, they're different, um, yeah, they're different strategies that they teach. Yeah. Um, different nuances and sizes. Right. Right. And um, in your program, do you have them do the disc tests yeah. before you start trying to advise them on what to do in their business? So, yes, I, I do want them. So, so for me, I wrote a new book about three hours a day, and it's, on, it's coming out on the raw hill. And the premise of the book is seven steps to how to live the lifestyle that I live. And the first step is to uh, understand your super value, know who you are, how you're wide. It's not just the disc test. You can take the disc test, the passion test. The, there's a lot of different. So, so it's you like develop a new test, basically. No, no, it's not a new test. Okay. Basically, yeah, the the, the test. What are our tests called? Um, the, the best test that I like is the genius test. Right. Now, I mean, the book has. Like, no, the book. The book just tells you, hey, you have to understand who you are. Perhaps you got. And then in the book, I have a curriculum called "Discovering Your Your Destiny." You like I call it "Discovering Your Divine Destiny." And it's some, it's basically a workbook that takes you through all the questions to figure out how you're wired. Yeah. Are you? And so the, the original book is like 92 questions. I think we scaled it down to like 50, but when you go through the book, you figure out, okay, this is who I am. And then my, what I teach is that you build your business using standard operating procedures, like the, yeah. the right processes, the right models. Yeah. But you build your business around who you are. Yeah. You know, first, but first you have to understand who you are. Because when you understand who you are, your why becomes very apparent. Yeah. You know, a lot of people say, oh, this is my big why, my grandkids or whatever I think. But what I, what I've come to understand through research, a lot of research and books, studies, you know, things like that. But the reality is we can't, once we know who we are, our why is very self-evident. You know, example, I mean, if I say, uh, why does a, a rose bloom? Because it's a rose. It knows it's a rose, and that's what roses do. They bloom. Mm-hmm. So if you don't know who you are, you can't really become who you were meant for. You were meant for. So here we go. This is a prime example. Okay. <laughs> they need to find out who they are first. Okay. Now we're telling them what to do. Right. Right. Tactics. Yeah. Can we tell them how to do it? Yeah. How do you find out who the how to do it? Super critter. 
that that's all. so I always test out as an engineer on the disk profile and most of them. And so that's the SC side of that's what that's the how. It's how do I do this? We have to have the step I sound. So when you do the disk, that's well the disk basically the, the disk basically helps you understand who you are. If you're a high D, um, the pro so here's here's the problem. What what I'm trying to do is lay the lay the the infrastructure here. Right. Where anybody watching this, we've established what they need to do. Yeah, yeah. They need to find out who they are. Right. Can is there is what can we tell them right now as far as how to, how can I how can I, how how, do I, how does somebody find out who they are? So you have to take the assessment test of okay. any and I've got them free on my website. There's a lot of so you you want to take the passion test, you want to take the disc test, you want to take the genius test. I might say mm -hmm. there's a few others, but those three is is all you really win. You got it. And so you say even if you wanted to not take a test at all, if you look at something where you say, you know, on a scale of one to five, how do you, how comfortable are you with this? Doesn't mean that you can't gain skills, but like naturally, how. Well, you yeah, yeah, who are you right now? Yeah, and then then you 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 gauge different things. So I have a book where I have how tools. It's twenty seven strategies for free subtleties. How to generate things, and it, it is how tools on every one. Yeah, but what I teach my people is you you only have to implement three or four in one of those. Yeah, because it, in truth, some of them you'd be like, no, oh, I can't see myself doing that. It's outside your different sort of demons. But just focus on the handful of things that you want to focus on it, and you could easily do 100, 120, 130 deals. I mean, I say easily. A lot of people don't even have this kind of goal is. When you think about 100 deals, a lot of people say, you sold 100 deals for whatever, 90 yeah. years in a row, or ATL, oh my God. Yeah, well, it's two deals a week. Yeah, that's what I did. 100 it's deals. two deals a week. A year, for 10 years. It's not, it's not, not a lot. It's, it's, it, it doesn't it, take it, a lot of time. time. Two deals a week. If you can't hear, well, two deals a week, then there's something, there's some deeper issues happening yeah. on your system. I'll listen to all, all the back apps. Two deals a week is not a lot of deal. That means you probably have 10 plus pending in any given time. Yeah. Uh, you're either spending too much time on things that don't matter. That's exactly wrong. Or, or yeah. right. Or you're, you're putting out fires every time. You know, the top producers I've found are really good at ignoring things that don't matter. Right. I wish my mom until later. Right. That's right. But they know what matters too. What they, yes, they know uh, from the beneath. Yeah, like like if something pops up unexpectedly and distracts me. Yeah, they ask, they're really quick at me able to assess. I need to take care of this right now because right. this is critical. Mm -hmm. Or this is something that most people think is critical, but it's not critical. And I can I can wait. I'm mm -hmm. done delay this task yes. to uh, to take care of that. Yeah. What you're talking about is separating the urgent from the important. Right? Most people spend all the most entrepreneurs spend all their time focused on what's urgent. Okay, but not fire, live, and that either. But but they're not focused on the important things, which is really only a couple of things. Exactly. I don't know. Listing appointment. I mean, you know, a listing. And when we talk about the, uh, so many deals a week, we're really talking appointments, right? Because that's where it all starts. Yeah. So if you can go on two to three appointments a week, yeah, you can hit the numbers that that Ricky's done that I've done. Uh, my last year as production, I did 153 deals as a solo agent, but I had a really good administrative team. Yeah, I had one. Licensed admin and he agreed with. Yeah. And they did 91.3% of all the activities on the trade that you pool. Very important to know what you should and shouldn't be good. My citizen I've had for 10 years, um, she does 94.5%. There you go. Yeah, then we go. I mean, every day. And, and a lot of people, they miss that. Yeah. Like I talk, all I do is talk to the seller. Okay. You will listen. Okay. All right. Send the information for her. I don't hear nothing about it until there's an offer. Right. Right. Well, right. she, Says contract, yep. gets it back, orders pictures, share, does MLS, sets up all the showings for the property, right? I don't hear anything until I've got it on for the it's the seller, the rest of that blend. That's right. Uh, so what I teach, I, I created, and it's the same, we, we use similar systems, but I created a 46 step system for the listing game. Step one, generate the lead. Step 40 is to close the transaction. And then there's six steps after that. Well, the reality, you have a lot of, a lot of listing sessions that, like us, they don't even realize that there's only two things that really move the needle in their business on those six steps. It's number one, generate the lead. Okay, you got it. That's, that's the, that's the, and, and it's number two, go on the pool. Okay, I go on the fire. And really, you don't have to do anything else, except if you want to negotiate the offer, you could do that. I had an agent on my team that did that. Okay. And, uh, but, but if you wanted to do three things outside of that, there's really nothing else that impact you should have to do on that. And that sounds crazy 
from a new age of respect. It does, right? it does. Because they're like, they don't even understand the process, right? So, so right. like if you're a new age, it's like, yeah. go ahead and do about a hundred deals on your own. Right, right. Understand the full process and then understand things you can delegate and things that right. are actually matter that move the needle. Yeah, like that. Hey. So, so what I teach them is, um, you know, go ahead and do your first three to five on your own. This is kind of my model. Um, and, and, and I might have to rethink that. For the high Ds, they might have to stumble across more of you know, to do more, I have to say, meant it. Yeah. Um, but I don't really think they have to do that many to realize that the, that their zone of genius is if they can focus on these three tools, they can do so much more volume in yeah. the amount of time they have that he did. Well, but then then it then opens up Pandora's box to how do you hire an assistant? Yeah, that's what right. I, that's how whole, do you find somebody that's a whole name chapter? How do you th- find somebody to take care of the forty five other things, whatever the number was? That, that need that have to be taken sure. care of to make the profit or sure. smooth I, or your business runs smooth yeah um i think at the beginning just to answer that question yeah you know keeping it because we like to keep it pragmatic and practical too and a lot of times we like to think like high level and then and and people are like well, just give me the tactics i just want to know what to do uh so talk about what to do how you start with with leverage leverage is people systems and tools and how you start with leverage is you do a, a pay for transaction yeah, and if you're charging a transaction, I don't know if you charge the transaction thing. No, I charge it. I, I've done a transaction fee since my very, and this might be a different philosophy than philosophy. And Ricky and I are cool like that. We've done so many of these together, and we, we're like, oh, you don't, do that? oh, you do that, you know. So I've I've charged five hundred fives from my first listing to my thirteen hundred list, and I've 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 never I'm probably not charged you five ten. Yeah. Right? So what that does is it gives me my contact the close person that's 300, 350. Okay. And they ch- it pays for the photography of it. Yeah. And uh, with those two things, okay, now my listing looks good. I don't have to do anything after contact. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, wait, wait a minute. I can get listing to close? Oh, I like that too. And that's just a per maybe $400 for, for an A or whatever. Yeah. And so I tell people, at first, just do it that way. Now, once you get to volume, is the doubt or not hype. Yeah. Those real estate agents suck in hiring. Yeah. Because they they hire the long person to own full, you know you have to hire the opposite of it, not somebody exactly right. Right. The only time we hire somebody exactly like you is when you're right next to the dip. Right. So it's just it, once you learn those things, they're not hard to learn, and that's the reason why I took the time to write my new book. Yeah. It's to kind of break it down in layman's terms. I think people are lazy. Yeah. I know that. And I think that, <laughs> I think that people try to hire too early. I, I agree. To try to get out of the art. Sure. And I think there's a big problem of there. And I think that people also try to get out of, like, say, make a call. See, your your model is, how do you get things, right? You don't make calls, so what's your lead gene? Well, I, I, I do make calls. So, so, uh, so I teach the three lead buckets. And the one's crude with fun. I have two have a lot of one. And you actually have it. You become mayor of the area. Yeah. And then uh, number three, you have a niche. You know, you just get rid of it. You might have all the list. So if with those three lead, like the example of a niche, a niche could be, uh, well, right now there's eight hot niches. I just did a, a video for our EXP uh, University channel that's, uh, it's ranking higher than yours because you're, you, t- you took four months longer to do yours. So you're what? Yeah. It, it's all about the eight lead sourcing right now. So number one. So I'm gonna give you a couple more. What video did I do in there? On oh, EXP University. You don't even. You just do so many of these. You don't I, even I know. I, yeah. But I. I, I, I got this keep track of that. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Because mine is ranked number one right now. Right. Ricky's is coming. What are they? What EXP University? That. What are they? Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I do. I, I, I was looking. You do too. At Instagram too. I went around like what? But you did. I remember when you first met. This is a side note. When we first met, I don't even think you had an MT kit. I had one, but it was really small. Yeah, you had like 80 people you were, you were coaching. Yeah, like that. I remember now you had like 60, 70,000. I remember that. Where was I? I was in I was in a different country when I talked to you. Yeah, we talked and you were like, man, I want to do what you do. I'm like, what we you doing? I want to do, I want to be on stage. Or, yeah. Oh, you want to do that? And I just, I, I showed you my game, my way I look, whatever I do. And uh, and you surprised me like that. And that's, that's what we want, right? We want us to do this. You know, that, and you, you're just crushed me. You just slap me around like a rag doll. But that's because of the high Ds. See you anyway. Um, uh, what were we talking about? We we're talking about uh, keep us on track. But listings, the great, the great lead button. Yeah. So, niche. so like, niche. what is it? Okay. So probate. That okay. Great. On the ice. I got it. I found it. So, uh, so, so, these, so these are all. So, so what's your strategy? Since you don't do cold calls, 
right? Are you telling him to call? Now, him? listen to this. I did expires with this coach right out the gates. And calling him? Yeah. Okay. So, so, so you did the call? Well, I did, I did old expires. So a lot of people don't realize with the expired bucket, okay? So 28% will relist their home within 30 days, okay? But then there's another 60%, okay? So there's, there's, uh, Another 30% that actually will never relist like mm-hmm. within a year. Right. So I work that. So see, you work in the front end. No, 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 no. You work them all. I, 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 dude, I teach build back 10 years for it. Okay. See, only spot. I got, I saw, I do not, I'm already, wait, our, so, sweet, our sweet spot right now, like I've got agents on my team that have 40 active listings right now. Mm-hmm. And their, yeah. their sweet spot is one to two year old. It's okay. fired. So the whole that's fired. Now I like hitting the new ones, but also the old ones. Because a lot of markets have like two or three a day. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. who's here? So you can go back 10 years for it. Yeah. Right. What, what, what system are you using? Like right X. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 So you already know that that's, that's to me, that's another nip. Okay. Where, where are ours? Them? Where I was going with this is to start out and say, you know, football. But yeah, I go, I leave. It's me. me dude. I basically did expires, but I did letters for those cars. Yeah. But yeah. So you didn't call them. You just sent a letter. I didn't not call you. Now, one of the things that I started doing, but you can't do this anymore. In the early days, you could, is I would have my, uh, my, not my VA, but my assistant make the calls. Then I got a license assistant. She did it. Okay. So, so I didn't personally make the call. They were Paul, yep. but I got a high D like you that didn't have the cop. There are yeah. people can make that work. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right, very good people can now. I agree. Somebody else come in. I agree. I hundred all. I hundred their that have. I hundred the agree. Was it's so rare. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Right. What I did was I was so good with my folks card that left. You'll never believe this, bro. But I have another guy, Stuart Sutton, that did a similar campaign. But I would send him a post for order, a letter, the ninety day post call it, the letter letter, and I had solely enlisting net. Did you do like? Cowboy, uh, like, yeah. So my I, whole crazy my like, thing, my, my whole career, I've never marketed for a buyer. Like, I don't know. Like, oh, me either. I've never marketed for a buyer. Why would I? So all of my marketing has been seller centric. It's like, yeah. you know, how much could your home be worth in today's hot morality? Um, have you been thinking about clicking us back on the market? It was all that kind of net. Yeah. You know, was it any unique funny headlines or all just pretty much? I didn't get about funny. I should. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you would have you got away with that. Yeah, I would have. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Why haven't you called the crazy cow? Yeah, you know, something like that. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, I have people that do that. I, they do free. I work a lot of huge. A lot of people are scared to do that. They're scared. Yeah, they're afraid because they want to be taken seriously. And they, but you have to let your person out of the shine. I've learned that late. Yeah, that's what you're good at. Then you just skill out and you let your personality shine. You don't talk to D. You don't work to that. You don't talk to at. That's one reason I went free in my coaching. So then I got, do I degree. read? To say anything I want to yeah, say, yeah, where I'm not trying to hold back this or that or yeah, this, you know, whatever. Uh, I want to speak with speaking my truth at any moment, after at any moment that I want to. For I don't want to feel like we could like I'm a like there's jelly over here for that people are paying me over here for this yeah. information. I can't say this. Yeah, now I gotta say you're the first person that I ever met that was hot from three cards. That I've never seen that much. I was the first free coach in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we could talk about selling money. And, and what you were talking about was you wanted to reduce the failure yeah. rate. And it got still your whole That is still the mission. And, and, uh, and yeah, so I, I love yeah, it. Yeah, we're successful. We're, yeah. We, yeah. we have data behind Absolutely. I know. I know what you do. Zero to dime, babies. So I, I love what you're doing. You're still doing zero to dime. Yeah, right. All day ago. So, um, I mean, you're interviewing me. We're both, we're both podcast hosts. So we, uh, sometimes I get the world of her. But, but I really love Reekly. I mean, I, I, I've said this before. I think we had one podcast that was so offered because all I was doing was telling you how brave you were. Because I really, I, it's very rare to find someone that says, likes people in their to golf and so let it down. Yeah, without being more curious about it. All right, all right. You know, and, and I just spoke to seeing that we're talking about it. You know, when I, the, the, the one thing I like most about EXT was the fact that to me, I looked at EXT at Pont. Yeah. And now, if, 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 if folks that listen to you and me never join the XP, nothing, hey, well, hey, okay, well, doesn't matter. But we're, we have this other stream of revenue that makes it even feel more great of sharing knowledge for free. Cause like, uh, it's the discipline of it. Before we go, I, I, the, the whole Ricky Cruz plan, the West Prada platform, right? Just could do business with me and self form of apps. I mean, if they want to join my brokers, great. If not, I've got more. If not, I've got coaching. If not, they can invest with. Right. They can invest in every fan to coerce the deal. So we have all this platform right out where I can say, hey, how do you want to do business with? Absolutely. That was the whole thing. Wow. 
Wow. And day one. And that and now it's complete. I have this platform in place and building them. So if you raise yeah. And they're going to always be free. That's, yeah, same here. Same here. You're an inspiration, brother. Stay healthy, Brown. Be good. You too. We're out. Man, that was, that was awesome. <laughs>